Live, CBS 3 Eyewitness News at 6. What tires do you have on your vehicle? 450,000 imported tires used on light trucks, SUVs, and minivans may soon be pulled from the market. Many of those tires are on the road already. Three on your size, Jim Donovan joins us now with these details. Well, Larry and Alicia, it's happened again. Reports of tire tread separation. That's where tires literally peel apart as your vehicle is moving. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration is ordering a North Jersey tire importer to recall tires it bought from a Chinese manufacturer and then sold across the U.S. It was while riding in this van last year that two Philadelphia construction workers died and another was critically injured. A lawsuit blames the crash on tire failure. The tread and belt of the tire separate, causing a complete tire failure to such an extent that the tread becomes lodged in the axle of the vehicle. The vehicle becomes uncontrollable, strikes an embankment, rolls over, ejecting all three men. Philadelphia attorney Jeffrey Colino represents the families of the dead and injured men. Photos provided by Colino show one of the van's tires torn to shreds. Allegedly, that tire, along with hundreds of thousands of others, are now being ordered recalled by the government after reports that the tires were made without a safety feature called a gum strip that binds the belts together. All they had to do was spend the 25 or 30 cents a tire to put this safety feature in, and these young men wouldn't die. The tires were manufactured in China and imported by Foreign Tire Sales Incorporated, whose attorney says the Chinese manufacturer is to blame. They took the gum strips out, and their position was, we don't have to put them in. These tires meet and exceed the federal motor vehicle safety standards, which we believe they do. Now, the tires were sold by distributors nationwide under the brand names Westlake, Compass, Telluride, and YKS. The importer estimates the cost of a recall to be around $60 million. As a result, they are suing the manufacturer, too. For more information on the specific tire sizes now under scrutiny, log on to CBS3.com, click on 3 on your side, and I do not think this is the last we're going to hear of this one. Now, we'll see you back here. Check your tires. Mm -hmm. Thanks. An allegation.